I'm Dr. Roger, and this question is from the March 2021 USSAT non-calculator section. College Board is asking us to simplify a rational expression. And we have two approaches here. One which I tend to favor is making up a number. If one of these expressions is equivalent for all x greater than zero, then in particular it will be equivalent for x equals one. So if I try x equals one, one over x is 1 over 1 is 1. 1 over 2x is 1 over 2 is 1 half. And that's 2 halves plus 1 half is 3 halves. Checking each of the answer choices for x equals 1, this gives me 1 over 1 is 1. That's not 3 halves. That's not correct. This gives me 1 over 2 times 1 is 1 half, which is not 3 halves. So that's not correct. This gives me over 3 over 2 times 1 is 3 halves, which is 3 halves. So that could be correct. But I have to check choice D to see if that also matches, but it doesn't. That's 2 over 3 times 1 is 2 thirds, which does not match 3 halves. So that the only answer that could be correct is choice C, because that's the only answer that matches for x equals 1. I like this approach because it's arithmetic, and we're really good at arithmetic compared to algebra. But we should also know the algebra. So let's do it correctly. I have 1 over x plus 2 over x. No, that's not what I have. I have 1 over x plus 1 over 2x. That's why I worry about algebra is typos can mess us up. To get a common denominator, I have to multiply this denominator by 2, which means multiply the numerator by 2. I'm multiplying by 2 halves, and anything over itself is 1, so I have not changed the value. To multiply fractions, I multiply numerators, so 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times x is 2x, and then plus 1 over 2x. Now that I have the same denominator, I can add numerators. This is 2 plus 1 over 2x, which is 3 over 2x. And that is the answer I got by substituting in numbers. Make sure that you're proficient at solving these algebraically but also keep in mind that you're just asked to find the correct answer. And if you can find that correct answer with a shortcut, like plugging in x equals 1, you've just saved yourself some time for the harder questions that require more thought, more creativity. Always keep all your approaches in mind and choose the best one for the question you're facing. And come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.